come. Now is the time to worship. Come. Now is the time to give your heart. Come. Just as you are to worship. Come. Just as you are before your This Mass is offered for the following intentions. For the soul of Edward Chandra Babu, offered by family members. For the soul of Edward Chandra Babu, offered by Mary Selin Chandra Babu. For the soul of Aneta and Edward Frankton. For the soul of Dr. A. Raja Pinera. For the soul of Tutukurin Twin Deaths, Jairaj and Phoenix. For the 30th Day Remembrance offered by Virginia Mary Rodericks, offered by family members, for the soul of Daryl Antonia, for the first death anniversary of Amala Patrick, offered by Veronica Pavitra, for the soul of D. Mary, for the soul of Mr. and Mrs. Maggie and Mrs. Charumadi. As thanksgiving mass offered by Travis, Benjamin, Judah and Johnson, for the Thanksgiving Mass offered by Laura Mianna on our Baptism Day. Thanksgiving Mass offered by Cheryl and Sudarsan. For the special intentions and good health of Romeo Lobo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, the religious feast, Eucharist and other religious devotional aspect is our external expression of our faith. Through this devotional aspect, we give glory, praise, and thanksgiving to God. The first reading of today from the prophet Amos tells us our religious devotional aspect do not please God if justice and goodness are absent. All our religious aspect should be accompanied by justice and goodness and love for poor. We may be a pious and religious people without justice and goodness and love for the poor and the needy. Such an aspect of religious devotion do not please and not acceptable to God. For the times we fail to have goodness and justice for the poor, let us ask the Lord for pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O 
O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. And so the Lord, the God of oaths, will be with you as you have said. Hate evil and love good, and establish justice in the gate. It may be that the Lord, the God of oaths, will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. Thus says the Lord, I will eat, I will despise your feasts, and I will not delight in your solemn assemblies, even though you offer me your burnt offerings and cereal offerings. I will not accept them and the peace offerings of your fated bees. I will not look upon. Take away from me the noise of your songs. To the melody of your harps I will not listen. But let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I will show God's salvation to the upright. I will, I will show God's salvation to the upright. Listen, my people, I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you, for I am the Lord your God. Our response? I, I will show God's salvation to the upright. I find no fault with your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I do not ask more bullocks from your farms, nor goats from among your herds. Our response? I will show God's salvation to the upright. I own all the beasts of the forest, beasts in their thousands on my hills. I know all the birds in the sky, all that moves in the field belong to me. Our response? I will show God's salvation to the upright. How can you recite my commandments and take my covenant on your lips? You who despise my law and throw my words to the winds. Our response? I will show God's salvation to the upright. Clap your hands and sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Clap your hands and sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. God in Christ was reconciling the world to himself and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Clap your hands and sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came to the other side, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demonics met him coming out of the tombs, so fierce that no one could pass that way. And behold, they cried out, What have to do with us, O Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a herd of many swine was feeding at some distance from them. And the demons begged him, 
If you cast us out, send us away into the herd of swine. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and went into the swine. And behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and perished in the waters. The herdsmen fled and going into the city, they told everything and what had happened to the demonics. And behold, all the city came to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their neighborhood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A man so called Christian was leading a very careless life, forgetting God in his life, and eventually. He committed a crime once. He was arrested and he was sentenced to a seven year imprisonment. As he was serving his life in the prison, he had a lot of time and he did not know what to do. He was a Christian by name, but he was not practicing it. But then he was all alone in the prison. He started reading Bible and he had started praying to relieve him from the pain of loneliness. Eventually, he converted and asked for God's forgiveness and started leading a very normal life. Inside, in the first page of the Bible that he was reading, he wrote, The soul that comes to Jesus Christ through failure, shame or pain, by his wondrous love and mercy, may surge high once again. The soul that comes to Jesus Christ through failure, shame and pain, by the love of Christ, can come back to normal life and travel high in the sky. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus frees these two demonics to lead a very good normal life. Jesus, by his own compassion and love, comes to heal us, free us from all bondage. Take the case of these two demonics, two people possessed by devil. Normally, people like to live in the villages or villas or apartments or bungalows, not in the cemeteries. But it is highly pathetic for these two men, they were forced to take their residence in the cemetery, the place of the residence of the dead. Their condition was so pathetic No company of the civilization, no comforts of the life, no food. They were like beasts wandering about. Such a miserable and pathetic life, these two men were not aware of. That's the worst part of their miserable life. At times, we like these possessed men wander about possessed by various kinds of bondages, the power of the devil. We live in filth of life, filth of sin, 
wandering about not knowing that we are in a miserable state and in that condition jesus comes in their life it seems that jesus travels from capernaum to cadurin in order to save them heal them they were unaware of their miserable state therefore they were wandering about no one to care for them in that situation jesus comes they could not go to jesus therefore jesus comes to them to heal at times we may not be able to go to jesus in our ignorance that jesus comes to us jesus is there coming after us to save us st paul in his letter to the roman chapter 5 verses 12 he says jesus died for us when we were still sinners jesus did not die for us when we were virtuous no he died for us when we were still sinners wandering about forgetting god and his power in his life and jesus comes the demons are very powerful knowledgeable they recognize jesus they cry out what do you have to do with us and if you cast us out send us to the swines and he gives permission it is better that the devil gets into the swine than to getting into the towns and inhabitants and destroying them the lesser evil that jesus gives permission to destroy the swine but the people find that the swines the pigs are more important than the power of god for these two people at times the material things the possessions the cares of life becomes more important than the power of god in our life the power of devil is undeniable the existence of devil in our life is undeniable but jesus is victorious over them in fact jesus came into the world to crush the power of that ancient serpent satan if only we recognize him and come out of the tomb come out of our bondage come out of our life in the cemetery come out of our life in the filth of sin jesus can free us and heal us uh, give us a life that is truly worthy of the society if we give permission for jesus to overpower us then we can have a very good normal life that is pleasing to the lord amen to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give I will ever love and trust in him his presence daily live I surrender all Take me now I so 
Brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you her holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim, Holy. You are a God of power. You are a God of might. Heaven and earth gives you praise. Blessed is He who comes. In the name of the Lord, as we acclaim, as we all acclaim, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis, our Pope, Anthony Swami, our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and all the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you more than anything in this world, and I hunger to receive you sacramentally, but since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually. 
I unite myself wholly to you now, as I do when I actually receive you in Holy Communion. Never let me drift away from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Forever I will sing, I will sing, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. Forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make known thy faithfulness, thy faithfulness. With my mouth will I make known. Thy faithfulness to all generations I will sing of the mercies of the Lord Forever I will sing of the mercies of the Lord
Prayer to St. Sebastian in time of pandemic corona. O St. Sebastian, faithful soldier of our eternal King, you remained courageous during the challenging times because you recognized the redemptive power in the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. You endured the pains of arrows that pierced your body because you had already been pierced by the sword of God's word into your soul. Thus, following our Lord Jesus Christ, you healed all people who have been suffering physically and mentally through plagues and pestilence. We have heard many testimonies of healing from people around the world, and we know in our own history that you have protected and healed people from black death and other pandemic diseases and restored them back to their normal lives with the nature, with their neighbors, and with our merciful Father. O true disciple of our divine physician, look upon your devotees who are afflicted heavily by the deadly virus of Corona. We have been deprived of many people's lives and relations, being isolated from each other, we have become weak and vulnerable, yet like you, we dare to take refuge in the Lord rather than to trust in the power of this world, because it is God alone who is the author and perfecter of our lives. O holy martyr of our Christian faith, we remember gratefully all the generous and courageous people who have risked their lives to take care of the victims of this contagious virus. We ask you to bless them with good health. We request you to strengthen our faith and regulate our breath. Restore our sight to see the image of God in all creation. Purify our love that we love and respect our neighbors with dignity and honor and give us a sincerity of heart to stretch ourselves in solidarity with each other as Jesus did to manifest the kingdom of God in our midst, where he lives and reigns with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Saint Sebastian, glorious martyr of Christ and unfailing hope of the afflicted, Grant us good health to serve our God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. Hear us, O God, our Saviour, and by the powerful intercession of St. Sebastian, deliver us from the present affliction and fear of the pandemic virus corona. Merciful Father, graciously listen to our prayers and heal our infirmities of body and soul, so that knowing your forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in your saving health. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us. May he protect us from all evil and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join as we pray together Psalm 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. 
he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge his faithfulness is a shield and buckler you will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday a thousand may fall at your side 10000 at your right hand but it will not come near you you will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked because you have made the lord your refuge the most high your dwelling place no evil shall befall you no scourge come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone you will tread on the lion and the adder the young lion and the serpent you will trample under foot those who love me i will deliver i will protect those who know my name when they call to me i will answer them i will be with them in trouble i will rescue them and honor them with long life i will satisfy them and show them my salvation Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and ever shall be world without end amen. amen Mary a mother pray for us Saint Anthony pray, pray for us Saint Sebastian our patron pray, pray for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen